We'd better move on to our next cruise. I would so love to do this one. It's with Celebrity Cruises. <laughs> I'd love to do them all, but this is really exciting. It's a chance to visit and see Alaska on board the Celebrity Infinity. But let's show you the five-star modern luxury that is only Celebrity. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we're both going, oh, oh, oh yes. Well, I, I cruised with Celebrity uh, early on this year, and the standards are impeccable. They are absolutely impeccable. And the Celebrity Infinity, which is the ship we're talking about here, is one of their Millennium-class ships. It's received a, a huge upgrade. It is so modern and new throughout. Uh, the ship carries 1,950 passengers, um, and she's got very elegant new suites, um, uh, beautiful state rooms, which have been restyled, flat screen TVs. You know, it's very modern and high tech, contemporary, stunning. You've got uh, five course meals in the main dining rooms. However, if that's a bit much for you, I look at the size of that ice cream, amazing. <laughs> but I was going to say, you've also got a health-inspired menu. Perhaps you can do a little bit of both in the Aqua Spa Cafe, still absolutely delicious. You've got your steakhouse, so great food, buffets as well, gorgeous. But then you've got amazing Broadway, Broadway style productions in the theatre. As you can see as well in that picture lounge. you just saw, the Eye Lounge, amazing cocktails and a really fantastic wine cellar as well. They really pride themselves on that as well. Choice of coffees as well. So whatever your tipple or your favourite kind of drink is, you know, everything is there. It's the choice is amazing. And I had some friends at Cruise with Celebrity on my recommendation earlier on the year and... Um, They've got certain health issues and they have to have you know, special dietary requirements. And they yeah. said celebrity help them out so much. But I've never been to Alaska. I'd love to go. Let's give you a taster of the whole experience. Have a look at this. Oh, yeah, have you, I know. You've not been to Alaska. No, have you, I Jim? haven't. No. And, it, it, you know, the world is such a big place. And then you just see you think, I need to go there. And it's that kind of feeling of the wilderness. And we were talking to someone earlier, weren't we? Well, JP, Planet, Planet who's Cruise. from Planet Cruise, who's, uh, who's been with us today, he did this exact cruise last year yeah. and said and it was sensational. It's hard to compare to anything else. Well, well he's and very just... well travelled, obviously, working yes. for Planet Cruise. But this was one of his absolute favourites, wasn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And we're going to obviously go through the cruise and exactly what it entails but there is a part of it where you actually are, are, are off the ship and you're going on a train through the Rocky Mountains as well so the scenery that you're going to see generally on this entire trip will be breathtaking really wonderful and it's that feeling of getting away from everything isn't and, it oh yeah and I'm just thinking not just the scenery you know the wildlife yeah the... oh it's just so remote and, and a bear yeah <laughs> of course <laughs> and an elk um, so some incredible wildlife as well actually <laughs> so really fascinating definitely oh, definitely on my list this train journey yes. is spectacular the Rocky Mountaineer train from Vancouver to Banff that is included. We're going to talk about that a little bit later on. Yeah, and there are train journeys and there are train journeys. And that one is yeah. in comfort and luxury. Um, not like one I did the other day. But we won't talk about that. Um, so, yeah, really beautiful. It, it, it is going to be a trip of lifetime. Um, all we'd love you to do today, we're going to talk through it in more detail. But if you want to find out more, give us a call on that free phone number and our cruise consultants will talk you through. Yeah, I think that's so important. I always oh. have loads of sort of questions when I'm booking a holiday that I need to know. So just phone up and ask for free and we'll, we'll talk to you. Well, um, Right, this, so should we go through the itinerary? Well, yes, because it starts with a, a flight, of course, from London to Vancouver. Yes. And then you're transferred from the airport to a hotel and you get a night there in a fantastic handpicked hotel, don't we? You do, and we're going to come back and talk about Vancouver because oh, yes. you're there at the end as well. So you've got your night there, which is really nice. Recover from your flight, kind of enjoy the fact that you've arrived and your holiday's begun. So then on day two, you're going to transfer from the hotel to the port and embark the fabulous ship that we saw, the Celebrity Infinity. Um, and then off we go. So we're sailing along the Inside Passage. Now this is a coastal route which weaves through the islands on the Pacific coast of North America and it extends right from southeastern Alaska in the States through to western British Columbia in Canada. So this whole trip is going to capture things that people love about Alaska, the glaciers, the misty rainforest, the fjords, it's going to be stunning. Day four, you reach Icy Strait Point. Now, this is a privately owned tourist destination just outside a small village called Hoona in Alaska. So, really fascinating, and immediately you're feeling like you are miles away from anything. I was going to say, if you've, you've got, you know, got quite a stressful lifestyle back here in the UK, to escape here. Yes. Well, you know what they've got there, though, as well, is a really cool-looking zip wire. 
<laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Now, do you know, I might just be up for that. I've yeah. done those before. I'm actually going on a zip wire on a cruise ship soon, but we're going to tell you about that another time. Um, right, day five, then we're off to the Hubbard Glacier. Now, this is nicknamed the Galloping Glacier because it's still advancing towards the Gulf of Alaska. So it's quite interesting. It's the largest tidewater glacier in North America, 76 miles long. No. So, yeah. Oh. And it plunges 1,200 feet into the bay, and it's just incredible. When you see it from afar, it's got this kind of blue hue around it. And you just, can even see in the pictures there. And I'm imagining the, the, you know, the beautiful picture is going to be taken And here so as well. still and amazing. And you've got these snow-capped mountains around it as well. So exactly as you say, make sure you take your camera. Renowned for its wildlife around here as well. You may see a whale. You never know. Right, day six, we're going to Juneau in Alaska. Um, there are no roads leading in or out of town here. You've literally got to get in either by air or sea. Um, it used to be where all the gold mining happened. Now you'll want to go and do whale watching. You've got outdoor adventures. Again, the Medenhall Glacier has got to be seen. Then day seven, you're going to Ketchikan in Alaska, um, which is known as the salmon capital of the world. You've got so much to do here. You can go kayaking, if that's your kind of thing, in the fjords, or you could go hiking up Deer Mountain. And then you could just spend the afternoon having a look at the galleries and shops. That's Creek Street there. It's like a row of wooden buildings just over the water. And now there's loads of boutiques and things there as well. Day eight, you're sailing back through the inside passage again. And then on day nine, you're arriving in Vancouver. And again, you've got the opportunity because you're disembarking and transferring to a hotel for a night. So you've got the opportunity to really explore. Now, this is a very multicultural city. In 2010, you'll remember the Winter Olympics were there. So that's when a lot of us saw a lot of it on the telly. Um, but yeah, a really beautiful city, actually. You must go and see Stanley Park. There's Vancouver Harbour. Um, you've got a seawall all the way around it. There's so much to do and see. Go and visit Gastown, which is fascinating, which is where Vancouver kind of started. Um, you've got Chinatown, coastal mountains all the way around it as well. So you're going to have a fantastic time. But we've now, got to move on because there's say, so now, much to do. It, it gets even more exciting because you're transferred from the hotel to the train station and you're going to board the iconic Rocky Mountaineer train from Vancouver to Kamloops. And we're talking to JP from Plank because he said this train journey is incredible. It's actually uh, a winner of eight World Travel Awards. The experience is breathtaking and all of the train journey takes place in the daylight so you see yeah. everything don't you? And, a, and also you've got guides on the train as well so they'll actually be talking you through what you're seeing. You're also going to get, like I said, this is not just like a horrible train that I got on one. It was so horrible the other day. This is worlds and, away from that. Think luxury. And all of your meals are included. You're going to get the red leaf service so you get all of your meals um, uh, served to your table. You can yeah. even upgrade to the gold leaf service, which apparently is incredible as even well. Even better, yeah. So you're going to eat really, really well. As Sean just said, you're not staggering to a buffet car. You're being served at your table. This will be, I love the sound of a train. It's so restful. Wonderful. Right, day 11, then, you're going to um, transfer from your hotel, because you're in Kamloops now, to the station. And this is where you board the Rocky Mountaineer and you travel to Banff. So Banff is uh, within a national park in Alberta in Canada. Um, in, it's located in the Rocky Mountains. So you're going along the Trans-Canada Highway here. Oh, it just looks so amazing. And then you'll transfer to a hotel once you arrive for a one-night stay. It's got so much to it, this cruise. I, I really, I'm not just saying this. I mean, I'd love to do all of the, the cruises tonight, but this is an experience that I will definitely do at some point. Yeah. In the very near future. Absolutely. It, what an experience. What a thing to say you've been able to do. You know, and JP was saying it really doesn't compare to anything else he's been done or seen. And I think you get an idea of that from looking at this footage. And, um, and, and don't forget, you know, if you want any extra information, give us a call at that free phone number. Our cruise consultants will talk you through. Everything about this trip, though, is perfect. It's all been, say, planned to perfection. I know. <laughs> I know. Amazing. Brilliant. God. So there you go. And then after that, you're transferring from the hotel and then you are flying uh, from Calgary back to London. Uh, we should say, by the way, if you'd like an extra day so you can really explore Banff, we can actually sort that out for you. you know, we, we can even sort out a, a helicopter tour as well. So, <gasps> we, know. you know, just ask our uh, 
Cruise Consultants all about that. And you will be travelling in five-star luxury with celebrity, modern luxury, beyond belief. This will be a trip of a lifetime that you will never, ever, ever forget. And let's just remind you of what's included today. So, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, if you uh, book an ocean view, because some great prices on those, you'll get a free classics drinks package and they are amazing with celebrity. Return flights are included. Uh, you've got the pre and post stay in Vancouver, your stays in Kamloops and Banff, and we have got an alternative sailing there on the 6th of June as well. So all of that information so is available uh, in more detail with our cruise consultants. And just give you the pricing on this as well, um, you can see there that there are some great upgrades for the Ocean View, and if you go for that, you will get the free classics drinks package included. Wow. Took my breath away that one actually and uh, that classic drinks package it is very good as i mentioned it's all of your teas coffees sodas juices bottled waters selected beers spirits wines and cocktails and uh, a wide selection uh, available also in this specialty bars and restaurants 